flights slowly finally returning to normal across the East Coast. A statement uh, coming to us from the FAA saying the agency is working with the airlines to return to normal operations and expects to lift any remaining traffic management programs by 4 o'clock this afternoon. That's Eastern time. The FAA continuing its root cause analysis, trying to determine the problem, working closely with the airlines to minimize impact to the travelers. This is after a major computer glitch at a Virginia Air Traffic Control Center. It caused huge flight delays at airports in New York and D.C., let me bring in CNN safety analyst uh, David Susi. Do we know what happened? What sort of the root cause of this is? Is this a typical glitch? Oh, there's nothing typical about this at oh. all, Poppy. This is something that the FAA and Congress has approved hundreds of millions of dollars to make sure this doesn't happen. So it's really an anomaly. It's something that shouldn't and rarely does happen, except for the one time about a year ago in Chicago when uh, there was someone that tampered with it and actually caused a fire in I one of these control that. centers. So. I remember yeah, that. So, so, so how does something like this happen? Well, what happens here, this is something that uh, I, I believe it, it early reports at least would show that there was a, a power shutdown at the Washington Air Traffic Control Center, at the Air Route Traffic Control Center, called the ARTCC. And that, uh, that, that sets off so many different problems. But the problem, the real root problem is going to be that when that power shuts off, there's supposed to be a uh, a backup system, like, you know, you buy those battery systems for your computers at home that make sure that if the power goes out, you still have power. That's the, the un uninterruptible power supply. And these are hundreds of millions of dollars worth of products that need to be there at these to make sure that the computers don't have to reboot every time there's a loss of power. And it appears that that system didn't work here. 